Hello and welcome to another episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. In this episode, we're going to take a look at using the new scroll motion effects in Muse CC, how to animate type coming onto the page. So let's take a look. Well, I have my Muse site open here and we're going to go ahead and create a new page to create this effect on. But before I do that, let me show you what we're going to achieve. So I'm going to bounce back over to the browser and in the browser, I've got the finished version of what I'm going to show you how to build. So it starts with the Echo Adventures um, or Eco Adventures uh, website with the, with the uh, heading being pinned to the top. And as we scroll down, we can see the text come onto the screen. So that is controlled literally by the person scrolling down the page on your site. So if they scroll up, text goes away, scroll down, text comes in. So we're going to see just how easy it is to build this. Let's head back over to Muse. I've got my page already added. Let's double click on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out because I'm working at a lower resolution uh, for the purpose of the video. But let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to zoom out a little bit more here. And now that I'm zoomed out, I'm just going to go ahead and extend the page. In other words, giving me some room to scroll. Uh, as, it, as that page defaulted at the top, it was just there was no room to scroll on it. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and zoom back in. Uh, let's go to our view menu and we're just going to go back to actual size. And then we can go all the way up to the top. Now, on the uh, top, on the rulers, you have the ability to drag out guides. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, maybe another screen or so, and then pull out a guide. And this is kind of, this is going to be my key point. In other words, when the person scrolls this to this point is at the top of their browser window. That's where I want the animation to happen. All right, so now we need to actually create our text or any other elements we want to animate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the type tool. We're gonna drag out a frame and we're just gonna type the word dynamic. And I'm gonna uh, select all, command shift greater than or control PC control shift greater than to make that larger. And now that I've got that uh, text in place, we'll say dynamic. We'll do another one, scrolling. And the reason they have to be in separate frames is because you are uh, animating them separately. We'll do dynamic, scrolling, and then we'll do one more. And we'll just type the word type. Now, of course, you can make these any color you want, uh, any font you want, uh, style this any way you want it to be. I'm just... Uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to spend a lot of time formatting the type because that's not what this is all about. But I will go in and choose a few fonts just to make it different. Um, I'm using uh, the web fonts from Typekit integration that's built into Muse. So I'm just going to grab one of the Typekit fonts, which is Asset. That's kind of a nice, big, bold font. And we'll just go ahead and make that bigger so we can see it all in one line. There it is. And then we'll do scrolling. And for that, I'm going to use uh, Source Sans Pro um, Black. And for type, I'm going to use Source Sans Pro Light or Extra Light. There we go. And again, I can make these larger if I need be, or if need be, which I do want them to be larger. And we'll do the scrolling larger as well. Make that much larger. And once you get your type, um, the size and fonts you want it to be, then position it where you want it to end up. So I want it to say dynamic scrolling and then the word type underneath right about there. This is where I want everything to end up. And let me just move this out of the way to make sure I'm still on the page and I am. And now um, here I'm going to select all and just move it down a bit and over to the left a bit. And what I want to make sure is that uh, I'm seeing everything in the same window. I'm seeing the guide in the window along with the finished results of where everything is going to be without having to scroll. So I'm seeing that all in one spot. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to dictate how each one comes onto the page. So we'll grab the dynamic. We'll go to effects at the top here on the ruler or on control panel and your fourth tab is scroll motion. So we're just going to turn on scroll motion. Don't worry about the key position right now. We're going to adjust that. And then I want this one to scroll down from the top 
at a rate of two times the scroll speed. And I don't want it to come in from the right and I want it to stay there after the keyframe or after the key position. So just come down from the top. Don't go to the right or left. Don't do anything after the keyframe, just stay there. And then I just go to scrolling and do the same exact thing. So scrolling effects. This time I want to turn it on and I want it to come in from the left at a rate of one point, uh, let's say 1.8. And these are just arbitrary numbers I'm putting in by the way. And again, uh, no, but of course that's slower than the first one. And uh, no scrolling after, so those are still set to zero. And then last but not least, the third one, effects, scroll motion. This one I do want to come in from the right at a rate of 1.2. Oops, but that's after, we want it before. There we go, so we'll set these to zero, and we'll set this one to 1.2. So all three are doing a motion before the key and no motion after the key. They're all set to zero. Now we need to adjust the keys. And this is what your guide is for. So it always puts in a default keyframe the same distance away from the object. We're just gonna pull that key up to the guide so that they're all hitting the same guide at the same spot. So just select each one and drag the key up to the guide. And once you've done that, you're all set. We've got all three adjusted. All three are coming in. And now we can preview this page in browser. It'll render out the HTML. And it will show us if we did it correctly. So we're starting off with Eco Adventures at the top. There's my scroll bar. I can scroll down. And here it all comes. So dynamic scrolling type. Just that easily. Now, for those of you who say, hey, I want to see what else can be done. That looks kind of cool. Is there more? I'm going to point you to parallaxfx.businesscatalyst.com. This is where the Muse engineers created a site showing you all kinds of effects that can be done with these, uh, effect, with these motions. And best of all, you can download the Muse project file and play with it yourself. So here, I'll show you one of the examples that they did. This one's actually, this one blows my mind. It's using mask, and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to start. Oh, actually, just scroll down to start. There we go. And it starts with the bar, the arrow, and my monitor is not big enough. My resolution is not big enough to show the whole thing. But it's basically building this, this graph uh, using the scroll motion effects. So we can go back. Uh, let's go back home. And let's take a look at one more. Um, here's a cool a sliding menu example. So again, we scroll down, the menu just starts to build with all of the objects on it. So just cool things that you can do with scroll motion effects. That's it for this episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.